Okay, so I'm going to be giving you the one-to-one -one object transfer lesson. Um, in your materials, you were asked to find some sort of compartment tray like this. Um, it could be an ice cube tray, it could be a muffin tin. Um, and you're, when you find your materials, they need to be the same uniform, whether in color and shape, um, such as cotton balls, beans, beads. Just make sure that the size of your material is pretty coordinated to the size of your openings. So if you're using like an ice cube tray, then the objects can be a little smaller. If you're using a cupcake tray, they can be a little bit more medium, such as the cotton balls. And if you're using the um, uh, muffin tins, then they need to be larger objects, such as a, um, a ball or something like that. Um, keep in mind when you are using the smaller materials, make sure you're keeping an eye on your child just because they can be a choking hazard. Um, so another thing to know in these lessons is that it's very important to remain silent when you're giving this lesson. You want your child to focus on what your hands are doing and not your mouth. Um, so only give words where needed. Um, and if you do need to prompt, so just wait your turn, stop what you're doing, and then prompt. Do not prompt while you're doing the, the uh, lesson. So this is how you give the lesson. Okay, see, so there the lesson is complete. Um, you can kind of note that I've gone left to right. Um, this is done because of the way you would read, say, um, the text in the books. So you would read it um, top to bottom, left to right. Um, so you do the same thing with the majority of these lessons. Um, and I know it seems a little odd to be moving your hand across your workspace, but it's really to develop the, the cross brain um, the left to the right brain, um, when you're crossing that midline of your body, you are developing that, that sense.